Amazing. Amazing. Yes, that was an incredible little gallery that we just had. Jenny? I mean, was there a single one that wasn't great? No, they're all great. I mean, it's and it's hard <laughs> to imagine that they were drawn upside down. I mean, it just proves how what an incredible technique that is. Yeah. What a great way it is to kind of kickstart your brain and show you what you're capable of. And also to say to that monkey in your head, if you can do it upside down. It's just shapes. It's just shapes, exactly. And you can use that exact way of doing it um, no matter what it is you're drawing. And you can look at, at drawing as just breaking things down. So lots of cool people have uh, joined us here. Um, uh, should we, the, should we tell Benics. everyone that you just spilled your like whole art trail? We're a little discombobulated. Let's talk about the Benics who <laughs> just came to visit us Yay! yesterday. And uh, thank you for, for dropping by. They're on a, I don't know, a global tour in their, in their truck. That was nice to see them. Um, Intrepid Frady Cat says that next Thursday is Pi Day. Pi Day. Because it's 314. Unless, of course, you're in Europe, in which case it's 14.3, which is just confusing. So, yes, we should draw pies. Could do. We could just eat pies instead. Why don't we just do that? <laughs> Let's just eat pies. We'll probably uh, still be eating the crumble cookies the Benix brought us. That's true. <laughs> they were huge. Uh, Kate says that it is uh, Physicist's Remembrance Day. Oh, all right. Is that today or next fourteenth? I think next week. I think she means next week. Yeah, we, we could try drawing. We we want to do the 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 Godfather of accounting, if you remember that. So oh if my we could gosh. do that. What was his name? Luca Pacioli. Luca Brazzo. Luca. He sleeps. <laughs> he uh, he does uh, accounting with the fishes now. It was, but that was actually a fun session. You never know what you're going to get here with draw with me. That's true. Sometimes you think, oh, that's not for me, and then it turns out, uh, what do you know? You didn't know yourself that well. Well, you were right, and it wasn't for you. <laughs> um, Maria and uh, her family of five in Estonia, welcome to Draw With Me. Awesome. And uh, I hope you don't mind, because today we are going to be drawing. No, we're not going to be drawing accountants. It's going to be about bookkeeping. Um, no, actually, as Jen says, it's fashion. Jen, of course, used to be in the fashion business, so I know that she's excited, and understandably. So today, yes, we're going to draw. We're going to pretend that we're fashion illustrators through the ages. And we are going to just draw styles of fashion f through what I like to call the 1900s. How many do you think you're going to try to tackle today? A whole century's worth. <laughs> yeah, we have drawn. We have images. It's like a drawathon. A drawathon for the next uh, 24 hours. Yes, we're going to we're going to put out a full collection. We're going to have a runway show at the end. It's going to be really exciting. Okay. Really well, I, now, for real, like for people who like to plan their page, what are you, what are you thinking about here? I think we'll probably do quite a few. Let's say half a dozen, maybe, depending on how fast we go. I haven't I haven't really done this before, but I'm kind of thinking I want to use. I'm probably going to draw with a brush, which usually means that it moves fast. But that's kind of the way it is with fashion drawing, right? Well, yeah. yeah. One day you're in, the next day you're out. That's true. <laughs> Is that? Yes, that's Heidi Klum. Yeah. The, the, uh, the legendary Heidi Klum. Jana is joining us from the Czech Republic. Awesome. Ish Harten? I'm not sure. Ish Ishin from, from India. Amazing. Very nice. And, uh, and Deb in Minnesota. So, yes, lots of different people. Hey, we should remind everyone next week the clocks change. This Sunday, the clocks change. So just make a note now, if you want to be here for next week, you maybe should subscribe and get notifications so that you won't have a mix-up on the time, especially our international friends, because, you know, the U.S. is, like, trying to trying That's to really make you point. misdraw with me by messing with our clocks. So We here in Arizona don't recognize daylight savings yeah, time. Yeah, we don't, we don't touchy-feely the clocks. We just leave them alone. So, let yeah, them do. so everybody shifts around us, yep. but we're, we'll be here. But actually, no, because we do this at 9 Pacific, so we will have to actually change our time, too. Yeah. But, uh, today's also National Sock Monkey Day, apparently. All righty. Peterson. Does the sock monkey have the same kind of chattery, critical voice? Or is that the one that... And it smells like an old sock, so, yeah, it's even worse. <laughs> Uh, yes. All right. What else? Um, let's draw. Okay, let's draw. Let's stop fooling around. 
So uh, let me let's get it get it get it going. What are you seeing? That? Um, sorry, I may have screwed this up. Uh, uh, yes, JJ, just uh, talk to the people for a second, if you wouldn't mind, while I <laughs> just uh, try something here. I meant to bring out the mailbag. I went to the P.O. box yesterday, and there were zines from Holly Rose, who I saw here, um, and from Kate Buick, who I saw here. And there was something very special in the P.O. box mm. from Gina Z. Uh, there was a C's gift certificate, a gift card to C's. I'm not kidding. If, if you want <clears throat> yeah. to be, you know, the best that you can be, that's the way to go. I mean, I did. I cried a little tear. There was also like a stressful bill from the from the IRS because they love to send something every week. Even though we are current on our taxes, the IRS just loves to communicate with you if your business. So having a C's gift card to offset that was very nice. It's true. And the zines are great too. Well, all right, I fixed it, I think. Here we go. All right, so I have this set of these little drawings and I have four of them for each, roughly each decade. Oh, and those are cute. They're cute, right? So I'm thinking like if you want to draw just one of them or if you want to kind of create your own sort of look, you know, just kind of use these as inspiration. That's probably what I'm going to do. And uh, just sort of make something that looks like the 20s. Yeah. Flapper girl. And this is, this is kind of a reminder of, of what that means. So as I said, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a fashion illustrator. But I do, I do That's like... That's a fashionable pen, that Pentel brush it? pen. Yes, yeah. it is. Um, so, yeah, I think like this sort of sailor suit kind of thing, right? That was a kind of a fashion. So, yeah, so just get to it, figure out what you want to do. Um, I like drawing these kind of like long... This is like a cigarette holder. I mean, I hate to say it, but I haven't figured out which one of these you're. As drawing. I said, I'm not. My goal is not to copy any one of these pictures. Oh, I missed that. I That's, see. So yes, you're just going out on your own. Yeah, I'm just going your own way. I'm just. Uh, yeah, I'm just making my own sort of like this is kind of too long to be a, a late twenties thing, but it's. Yeah, I'm just making something that sort of feels inspired by the period. Hmm. Right? So. I'm not going to say anything. Are you going to laugh at me now? No, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to. That'll be really relaxing. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. You can critique me. I can take it. No, nope, I'm not saying anything. I'm, I mean, I'm kind of copying this one from 1923 a little bit but then I'm adding my own embellishments. Cool. <laughs> All right. I'm not a fashion historian. Maybe this should come down. Yeah. You don't think it's at all recognizably the 20s? <laughs> I'm just going to... I'm, I'm well, you're gonna, just going to sit there snickering. That's, no, that, I know. You might I know, as well. Know, you might as well let and it. And everyone's going to chime right. in, like, "Why am I not drawing?" And I know it's super hard yeah. to do, especially who's, when you're talking. Who's that woman? Exactly. Who's I mean, that look, woman? I'm not going to throw stones. I'm living in a glass house over here. Yeah, you are. I don't know. I kind of like this. I recognize that it's not exactly period perfect, but aren't the aren't the uh, Oscars coming up mm, Sunday? Sunday. So, so I would think that um, I might be eligible for a fashion Oscar, a wardrobe <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> it would show the designs, right? That would be a fun thing to do. Actually, is like watch it and tell and pause and do drawings of the outfits. I mean, for me, really. Watching the Oscars is really only about an opportunity to eat yummy snacks and as is, uh, as is see, see the dresses and the tuxes. I mean, every year there's really something to ooh and awe over. 
I don't know. I'm not. I'm, sometimes the off ones are the most fun, right? Remember Bjork and her swan? That was the Oscars, right? Or was that the Grammys? Bjork and her swan was the Oscars. Was it or was it the Grammys? Yeah, I just said the same thing. I'm pretty sure it was the Oscars. Or Cher and her fabulous, like the Bill Mackey thing that was, you know, looked like she'd come down from a starship. I have to look at comments and see if anybody else shares your antipathy. See? What does Jen say? Looks like Chanel the early years. Jen, you're friendly. You always know what to say. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <clears throat> we tried watching... Um, the new look? The new look. I don't know if anybody's seen this. It's about Dior. Christian Dior and allegedly like the how horrible Coco Chanel was and just awfulness all around. I don't know. I know, and it's an actor it we terrible. really love, Ben Mendelsohn. Yeah, we love Ben Mendelsohn. But, yeah, but we're giving... Show and oy to the it was day. It was not good. I mean, did anybody watch it and think it was good? Maybe you could change my well, mind. Well, we were excited for it. We kept waiting for it. You know, the previews look so fun and I don't know. Didn't didn't do it for us, but maybe we need to give it another chance. You know, I'm not I'm okay with this drawing. <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> it's nice enough, and gosh darn it, I like it. Is that your sock monkey voice talking to you? God is love says it needs some kind of a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a pattern. It might be an old comment. It might be an old comment, but it's funny. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll, I'll get better at this. What's as we next? Go. The thirties? You're gonna get some. Oh boy, here we go. Let's go <coughs> the 30s. Depression wear. I really should have done something. I should have done a shorter dress. I, I think it's a long neck and a long dress. Well, what's wrong with a long neck? It's, I mean, fashion illustration is like that, right? Should I do another one? No, just go to the 30s. It's not your decade. All right. It was Grace, a warm-up. Grace of Freedy likes it. But she might like. She might be talking about the new look, not my drawing. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's have a look at this. All right. So let's have a look at this. So this is the 30s. And what can we say about the 30s? So shoulders, definitely, right? Little hats. What else can you say about the thirties? Uh, my stream still yeah, hasn't I know. shifted. Yeah, I know. Just, just pretend it has. I mean, there's war. It's not war in the thirties. Sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking First of the forties. The... Yeah, no, the thirties. Uh, I would say is a is so the twenties were a bit of I don't want to say risque, but the thirties are a correction, you know, to the licentiousness of the twenties. And, uh, you know, the ladies were having a nice time in the 20s, and in the 30s, somebody had to come in and I know, but I'm not talking about water an, on it. I'm talking about the style. The style. Clothing. Well, that's what I'm saying. It is a bit less, it's a bit more staid than the, the 20s. It's, it's, a, it's a, a bit more, more masculine, maybe? It's a bit more buttoned up, I would say. Um, I think yeah, it's... Yeah, it's not, it's not sort of loose and flowing like yeah, the 30s were. It's, it's 20s a, were. It's the 30s were, like I said, it was a... Correction to the Cindy 20s says when the people 30s had fun. Where? I don't know. I don't know anything about the 30s in, I don't know. Everybody's like, has the screen changed to the 30s? Can we have the reference? Oh, did I not put, put do that? Okay, sorry. <clears throat> now I understand why there's this confusion. Okay. Yeah. We're all spitballing because we don't really know what the 30s okay, look so like. Here's the 30s. Are you seeing it now? Yeah, so okay. I would say you know it's a bit, it's a bit uh, less revealing. It's less flowing. It's more structured. It's structured. Yeah. yeah. So, so let's we can talk about it, and then I'll just basically ignore whatever we talk about because I'm incapable <laughs> of drawing it properly. But let's just try. I'm going to see, see what happens. So I'm going to draw probably another large long neck just because. You know, you know models are known for long necks. And it's not models, a not right. a bad thing. Right. But then I'm going to give her some. These dresses good. all kind of come up to the neck, right? It's like the 30s. You didn't get to show your swan-like neck if you had one. You got to get a ruffle right up there under your chin. Yeah, I think of like um, Joan Crawford or something like that. Jen is noticing a big difference from 32 to 36 in the shoulders. You see that structure really happening? I mean, 32 to 33. Very like Marlena Dietrich, isn't it? 
that yeah, Marlene Dietrich. 1936. Well, so don't you think of Joan Crawford as having these? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But then also like a little jacket. It's more of a it's more of a suit kind of look. Yeah, suiting, suiting, suiting. <clears throat> I feel that green color is that says thirties to me too. I feel like that was. But also know. kind of, kind of uh, long skirts. Yeah, below the knee for sure. I mean, I. I wasn't going to be critical of your twenties drawing, but th I think that that was. Sort I should of, have done short. It, it should have been shorter. Like you made it down almost. I, like I, you gave I, a little. I worked angle. on the very. I worked on the very first one that yeah. came up, and I should have. Yeah. Should have been a bit more patient. I think she's going to be holding a martini, though, even though it's the thirties. Don't you think? I mean, bootleg. No, I think I'm not going to give her a hat. Oh, I'm I'm curious. Give her like one of those, you know, like the hairstyle that you sort of see in um, all creatures, great and small. It's like pin curls, right? Yeah, pin curls. Is that what it's? Yeah. Pin curls. Well, because I don't think people wash their hair ever so much back then. Like you would have a shower, you would have a set and dry once a week, right? Something like that. Probably. It was the depression, though. They probably couldn't afford shampoo. I don't think shampoo is terribly expensive. They probably use like carbolic soap or something. Baking soda. Baking soda. I remember my mom used to say they used to brush their teeth with baking soda. <clears throat> Every Saturday. <laughs> Once a month, rain or shine. What's a good color for the, for this period? This green, I think. That's what I was saying. I mean, to me, that is the sort of legendary 30s. Also the 40s, I guess. You mean green like like khaki? Um, I would, no, I would say it's like emerald green. What about some uh, embellishments, though? Yeah, Thistle was saying that the 30s brought back the waist. Right, because they, they were called, were they called shifts that they had in the 20s, where it was just basically a loose, yeah. loose flowing thing? All right, well, it's sort of 30s. <laughs> it was, it, this is my experience of the 30s. Yeah. This is this gunny sack type style. I like how everyone's left hand, it's, is that going to be a... Continuity. They're all going to be holding things. And organizing principle of this page. Everybody's left hand will have some signifier. I like that one woman with, with the brown gloves. Though. I might give them. I know the gloves are the gloves are fetching. Thinking of gloves with a martini. That's a good look. All right, and then you can feel free to do this correctly. Don't follow my example if you'd prefer. Okay, so now 40s. What do we think? Should we see what the 40s are like? Let's go to the 40s. I mean, oh, war, okay. war time. Well, so here's the 40s. So a lot of pleats. Shorter. Kind of knee length. Yeah. A bit more flowing, a bit more colorful. Probably more advances. I feel like the fabrics have definitely lightened up. Yeah. What's yeah. your what's your style? No, I'm just looking, I'm just thinking about Now you snuck in a nineteen thirty nine on the end of this. I guess that's Because this is the period. Transition. In other words, it's not a decade, right. it's a right. period. So this is like wartime, thirty nine to forty five. Yeah. I mean, like the 1944 one, that's very sort of like career girl looking, right? No, I think that's a going out look. Right, but it's sort of... I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, if we were talking about football, I could tell you everything you need oh, to know. Oh, Lordy. But I think 
God, I do. I, this Lisa commented. I think some of these dresses would be in stores now. They don't look dated. That's true. The length, maybe. I think. Mm, I, I don't think this length is exclusionary. I do like those buttons at the neck. I'm liking the patterns. I mean, there's a floral, aside from the blue one, everything has a polka dot or a floral. Maybe that's like in response to the war. It's, it feels a bit more playful. Playful? The war? No, no, no. In response to the war, they're instead of wearing, you know, the, the military styling, you want to wear something that feels the opposite of a uniform. That's true. The guys don't want to come home and find a, a bunch of, like, sergeants there. Is that, is that what you're thinking? Rosie the, Rosie the Riveter by day and uh, yeah. sweet little peonies by night. What was that book that we read that was about um, during the war, the wo women working in the shipyard in Brooklyn? Oh, yeah. That was a great book. You remember? Yeah, I do remember, but I can't think of... I'm trying to think of the author, because the author is one of our favorites. No, I'm, it's not going to come to me. This is kind of like ignorant man drawing women's clothing show. Welcome to. And this is why we don't this draw is... women on here so much, right? Well, somebody said at least they don't have beards. so No mustache. Yeah. Dan Bolton says he's moving on to drawing tube tops and hot pants. Those are coming. Get there. Just You have to, you have to earn it. <laughs> so I could just drew... Draw little flowers. Or polka dots. Kind of, kind of fun. Yeah, polka dots are sort of in the period, but I've already started drawing kind of little flowers, so. There you have it. Do you think if we did this in reverse, like we showed somebody my drawings and said, what period do you think this is of? <laughs> I don't know, the Middle Ages. All right, so the reason we came up with this idea is because we happened to glance upon an obituary for the person who founded the poodle skirt. Founded it. Well, created the poodle skirt, yeah. which, you know, super iconic, can't mistake it, decade signifier. I looked for pictures of the poodle skirt, and honestly, the only ones you could find were like costumes. Like I, I don't know how much people actually even wore poodle skirts. Uh, I think yeah, it's like, I think they I, did. I think you don't think were... it's like just a thing from the what? movies and no. TV shows? No, what? Come on. What kind of bag? What color bag was you have? Would it go brown? I don't mind the white, honestly. A white bag, yeah. If I gave her brown shoes, is that a problem? I think when you make that brown that bag brown, that's a mistake. Okay, I'll just do this. <gasps> yes, Cindy, Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan. That's the book. Exactly. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. All right, so there you go. That is a. This is like straight out of Ladies Home Journal, nineteen forty-two. <laughs> Oh, and also very red lipstick, right? Sure. All right. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, let's let's just have fun. You're just having fun, right? You it's know, so if deep. you if you insist. It's not so deep. You're right. Um, that sock so monkey. I think, uh, <laughs> I'm going to draw a sock monkey voice next. Back. <laughs> I should have just drawn sock monkeys. I knew it. Gina Z, welcome. Oh, Gina's here. All right. Uh, now they're, everybody's already wanting to get bell bottoms and so forth. We're not getting into that yet. Oh, this, this I think is nice. This is an interesting period. So can you see it? No, not yet. So this is, um, I mean, this is, this is basically after the war. It's Dior. It is kind of. <laughs> yeah. These are fantastic. 
I kind of like the later ones better. I mean, I think they're more f fancy. But the I love those giant swinging dresses. Very, very... Well, you would uh, have like a crinoline under it. Funny face. Yeah, crinoline. And that super cinched in waist is really very fetching. Have any of you been watching Project Runway over the years? I mean, we do. Well, you weren't asking me, right? Well, I know that you I know, know we I watch know. it together. Yeah, we quite like it. The, the thing that always strikes me about it is like how some of them can can draw pretty well, and some of them cannot draw at all. And I always wonder, like, how do they how do they communicate their ideas if they don't draw? I think, I mean, I, I, but let's be fair, new. on Project Runway, they don't, the whole challenge is to do something without much time. So perhaps these contestants have a bit more skill than they reveal because they're just, I mean, they have, you know, the, the clock is ticking. They're not doing their best. Yeah. I mean, I always wonder, I think that show is fun, but I always wonder, like, why can't they just give them more time so we can actually see good fashions? <laughs> well, there was that one show where they gave them not only time, but they gave them a lot of money to play with, to make stuff with, and it was dramatically better. Oh, my gosh. You know who's here? Nikki Trakos. Hey, Nikki Trakos. If you haven't seen, by the way, we, uh, we just shared all the stuff from Creative Kickstart. That, uh, Did you post it yesterday? Yeah, on the channel. A lot of the viewer art is in there. A cavalcade. I seem to be pretty bad at drawing high heels, but... She's become a bit of a clod hopper now. I'm to turn that around. <laughs> Sorry, this is, uh, this is atrocious, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Richard Avedon's spinning in his grave right now. I mean... Say it. Just say it. You know you want to say it. I don't think Avedon gets to spin in his grave over your drawing. <laughs> <clears throat> I do like that it's stripes, so... <laughs> what are you laughing at? It looks like a bird, like a big bird foot. Oh, this down here? Yeah, I mean, there's... Something going on there. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to. <laughs> Major upgrade said, "Well, she definitely ain't falling down." <laughs> what does that mean? She ain't falling down with that tripod. Oh, you oh, erased it. That's yes. funny. That was very funny. I mean, that was a big thing in the fifties. Women were afraid of tripping, <laughs> so there was. Uh, trend of the tripe of the kickstand <laughs> kickstand leg <laughs> oh my goodness all right well it's just us i'm i'm liking this pink <laughs> she looks a little <sighs> why did we, why are we doing this again <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. The tripod bird. <coughs> bird foot. Why are their necks so hairy? I don't know. Let's let oh. her neck isn't hairy. I think what it's the ruffle you were trying to communicate. Yeah, I don't it's know. A it, ruffle. It, you were I don't know. I don't know. You people don't know anything about fashion, clearly. Oh my goodness. But the hairy neck was a big thing in the late fifties. <laughs> Study your go go and Google it. <laughs> right, it's time to turn the page. I have to get on with Okay, yeah. The 60s is when you were born. Don't, don't remind me. <laughs> so this is going to be a... You're going to be more in touch with these yeah. looks. My mother used to sew some of her own clothes in the 60s. Oh. Or maybe it was just... Yeah, well, she used to have a tailor is what it was. She had a tailor, so... Yeah, so what do you think? What? So this is late 50s, early 60s. Right, this is not like Woodstock. This is 
This is uh, Mary Tyler Moore. So we're seeing a bit of leg again. That's true. Yeah, people are disappointed there aren't any hippies in here. Look, people, it's the early 50s. It's the Late early 50s, 60s, early 60s. Yeah, early 60s. You, you know, you need to... Uh, you need to learn, study up on your history. I mean, it's very Jackie O, right? Yeah, it's exactly. It's that period. It is, as I said, it's like... Um, Simplicity It's patterns. like the Dick Van Dyke show, Mary Tyler Moore. <clears throat> I'm not sure what to do with it, though. I kind of like that sort of cowl neck thing. Maybe I'll do that. And also the hair up. What do you think? Hair? Yeah. I mean, a beehive kind of thing. Or is it a chignon? Is that what it's called? That kind of thing? No, that's sort of when you pull it back at the nape of your neck. So it's more um, Audrey Hepburn? Uh, yeah, I would give this a breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah. I mean, I would say a Givenchy kind of Givenchy. feeling. She looks kind of skull-like, but that's okay. Back to the arm. What about the arm? Oh, the arm out? What would she be holding? No? That's a good question. What would she be holding in the 60s? Early 60s again. I mean, it's probably still a cigarette at this point. That's true, but she's holding, she's holding a shorter cigarette. Um... And the skirts are kind of tight, tighter at the bottom, right? She's a little long-waisted. <laughs> right, they'll make her legs I mean, longer. Her, her neck is as long as her calf. Well, it's a fashion drawing. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen fashion drawings? <laughs> you guys, is, am I wrong that, it, that this is, you accentuate, you know, the thing? <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. She's giving me a hard time for no damn reason. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to make this red. Yeah, in the 60s, it would be like a tray of martinis, right? Okay. She's holding a trick, but then she's like a waitress. No, yeah? uh, no, she's she's an had, independent woman. She's not a. No, but it's like a house party when you had you're mixing like a tr you know mini teenies back when martinis were still like two ounces of. How about some bangles? Booze. Well, your reference has some bangles. Yeah, Nineteen fifty-eight. I think that's an acceptable fashion drawing. I'm into it. All right. <clears throat> All right. Come on, 70s. Give us something fresh. It's not going to be the 70s. It's going to be the late 60s. Oh, lordy. Okay. 67 to 73. Oh, wow. We're, we're... And I think this is the end, by the way. What? Yeah. We're at the end. We're stopping. We're not doing... No. What? No. Because there's no... I mean, we can make it up. Wow. We can make it up, but I only have reference for this period. I didn't think that I was going to make so many bad drawings so quickly. <laughs> So. How about a mini skirt? I mean, I don't think so. I think that, to me, the 70s is the 73. This is 67. It's the late 60s, early 70s. So, what, 73? What about that the safari pantsuit thing? Amazing. Amazing. All right. Nikki Trakos she's likes got, the, she's, the hippie vibe. In 1971, she's brought home the bacon. She's fried it up in a pan. But she never something something her man. Yeah, What's something it? something like. It's gonna be a yeah. Vaguely. So what should I? Which I? Where should I go? 
<clears throat> what about like go-go boots and a and a damn mini skirt? I mean, yeah, that's that mod look. What would they wear on top? What do you mean? What would they wear on top? It was like a little a line dress, like a little mod dress. I, th I said mini skirt. Oh, I see. All right. A turtleneck. Okay, so I'm just going to go A line, okay? But I'm going to do really long legs, like Twiggy. Right? How about boots? Could you wear boots with a mini skirt? An yeah. A line dress? Yeah. Yeah, could, right? absolutely. Like go go boots, go -go, right? White yeah. boots. White boots. And she's maybe like dancing. Josie got married in 72 wearing hot pants. Love it. How long did she Legendary. Stay? How long did she stay married though? <laughs> nobody would nobody would uh, leave someone who's a hot pant wearer. Look at that. Maybe scene. she had to maybe Josie, sorry if we're maligning your uh, your marriage. More bangles. Mary Quant. How about like big graphic print? Like, well, yeah, like a black and white checkerboard is what I'm picturing. Okay, I was going to say like giant flowers. <clears throat> but yeah, why not do black and white checkerboard? Wow, oh, Renee said these are Mondrian squares. Not sure what that means. You mean like, like a, the painter Mondrian? I'm assuming, yeah. Ooh. How about a big bangle earring? All right, I think that that's pretty amazingly good. <laughs> <laughs> go go boots and fishnet stockings. Oh my goodness! Well, I hadn't thought of fishnet stockings. Is that too much? I think it's even better. Thank you for that suggestion. All right, so what should we do now? Should we go into the unknown and draw 80s? Yeah, I mean, the 80s. What are the 80s? Neon. Neon. Huge shoulders. That's what I was going to say, big shoulders. Like, But then there's also this sort of like Jane Fonda thing. Let's just do big shoulders, like a big suit, right? I'm thinking like Dynasty, yeah, like a yeah, like know, Joan Collins, exactly. And yeah, like the hair, the higher the hair, the closer to God, the big bangs, that whole thing. And it's like big out, like big. Um, what about um, like Farrah Fawcett sort of? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Then it wouldn't be short sleeves, it would be maybe a jacket of some kind. What else? What would she be doing? She's what would she be doing? Eighties. I don't know. Oh, I know. She's kind of slouching against something. What kind of what's what's on the bottom? Dress? Is it a dress? I mean I would say like a little mini skirt, like a big huge shoulder and a tiny little skirt. Double-breasted, maybe? Yeah. That peplum is kind of an 80s thing, too. Remember that sort of look? So then she's... What is she wearing on her feet? I mean, stiletto pumps. So, like, super hot. Yeah, super high heels. I made her legs a bit too short, but yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. What and well, like a purple? How about purple? No? Yeah, 
for sure. I mean, I would say like a, yeah, like a dual tone was big yeah. in the 80s. She's holding like a piece of sushi. All right, well, we, that's, that's, <laughs> that's beyond my ability to draw. Is the hair, what do you think of the, about the hair? I mean. Just say, don't say, I mean, tell me, what do you think about the hair? I think it's good. I think it says 80s. I mean, All that right. was definitely, people had perms in the 80s. <laughs> it's like a little Jennifer Beals in Flashdance. She had that hair. All right. Um, let me just make this, because now that we're working, like, we're just going feral. We're just. Uh, yeah, rogue. Rogue. It's like I might as well show you the whole page. All right, 90s? I don't even know what the 90s is. I mean, the 90s, okay, a few, a few things come to mind for the 90s. So one was like the Calvin Klein, like very minimalist. Two was grunge, so you got like some plaid and like that whole look. Yeah, we didn't do punk or new and wave or anything like that. Third is like those really low cut jeans. No, you would like the jean was a big thing in the nineties, and then you would have like a little like crop top and like a little grunge. So what is grunge? I mean, women? grunge for me would be like a baby doll dress kind of thing, but with like a plaid shirt tied around the waist, and definitely like some Doc Martens, that kind of thing. So a baby doll dress is what like a I'm trying to think what that is. I mean, it's almost like one of those little sixties dresses, but it would be maybe floral. Like with some little ruffles. All right. I'm really, I'm really out on limb here. I'm going to get you a reference. No, don't give me reference. Okay. It's too late for reference. I mean, try to imagine. I'm imagining uh, Courtney Love. Yeah, I know. I'm just... So it's not like... What's the hair? Uh, I would say it's like chin length. Oh, brother, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like saying like Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> All right, so she's got a plant thing. Could she be wearing like pants underneath the plaid shirt? Underneath? Tights? She could have tights? Could have like some rip tights. That's true, rip tights. And then big army boots. Boy, this is terrible. Yeah, all right. I apologize to this entire decade. <laughs> Thank God the 1900s are over. I was just remembering a funny thing about those pants, the, the jeans, they would get cut so low, you know, just really like, if you bent over, you would, Sometimes see the top of somebody's G string, and they called yeah. that a whale tail. Oh, <laughs> and it's tramp stamp. No, that's a tattoo. That's a tattoo. Oh, in the grunge look, you would definitely have a like knit cap, like a. Oh right. Yeah. Right. I, I I just I I <laughs> <laughs> what um I yeah <laughs> say I, no I, more I, no I just don't know what to do with her top I don't know what a baby doll thing is <laughs> tell help me I'm looking at pictures to try to give you a different <clears throat> I mean maybe just a t-shirt. <laughs> Oh. Get a t-shirt. How about a black t-shirt? Yeah, a t-shirt. Jesus. <laughs> That's what I was going to say originally. I would say big t-shirt. Big t-shirt. Right? Oversized t-shirt. I don't know. You know, it's like... <laughs> don't, don't. That looks better. Immediately yeah. better. Yeah, now that looks like, a, like I mean, an the actual scales, thing. The scales were... 
deeply troubling. I know. There was, I don't know what they were. It was meant to be ruffles? Is that what? But yeah. I'm feeling the plaid shirt wrapped around. Yeah. I definitely feel like that's actually legit. And then the kind of ripped up things and then the army boots. I, I, okay, I think we managed to pull this one out of the fire. Thank God that damn entire century is over. <laughs> Elizabeth says this reminds her of Carol Burnett. <laughs> the nose. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. This must be very late Carol Burnett. <laughs> I can see Carol Burnett. What about the it? hair though? Kind of looks like a bob. Yeah, I, I feel like it was like medium kind of length hair in the nineties. Was... Not shoulder length. I don't know. Yeah. It's and is it it's pre tattoo really? Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, if anybody in the Skirt 90s had like tattoos, plaid, it would be one little tattoo. Plaid shirt tied around the waist. Yeah, it is. That's exactly what it is. It's a plaid shirt tied around the waist. And I think that's pretty damn obvious. <laughs> watch cap over the hair. I put in a watch cap, Dan. Come on, Dan. Punk her out. She should have, what are Liberty Spikes? Oh, that's the, her hair. But she's wearing a cap. Isn't that sort of <coughs> more of like a punk thing? I mean... It's more 80s. There was a crossover between this yeah. kind of stuff. I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn happy with that one. I think it's the best one we did so far. That one elicited a number of dams from you. Well, because it was wrong. I mean, it got more correct. But, I mean, how do we go from this... Oh, I see. Okay, I was going to say, whatever happened to... I mean, these... Can we do anything? But can we fix... We have 10 minutes. Can we fix these up a bit? I mean, it, it... Okay, so let's go back to the 80s one. Would you wear black stockings? No, it would be white. White stockings? Like shimmery white. Okay, yeah. All right, well, she's already wearing white stockings, so... I'm not really... I mean, she also looks extremely mannish, so... But maybe she would have, like, more... <laughs> Didn't, isn't that like an 80s, like the kind of big cheekbones? Yeah, right? Yeah, but also like big chunky earrings. Would, But I think your hair, I'm not sure how you work that in. Also big eyebrows. Yes, definitely thicker, thicker more pronounced a, a eyebrows. Brow, a unibrow. Yeah, I'm right, maybe it's not. What kind of shoes? I mean, I would say like super high heel pumps. That's what I remember being the 80s about. Okay, I just made her legs too short, so maybe I'll just give her new legs. <laughs> Could you give me new legs? Sorry, this isn't, this isn't the 80s. <laughs> Jen, Jen just said she looks like Robert Smith. Well, that's my experience of the 80s. You should see me in the 80s. This is exactly what I look like. You had a couple of like zoot suit looks in the 80s. I wore a lot of, I wore a lot of like 50s and 60s suits in the 80s. Yeah. Okay. Clearly long legs helps. <laughs> As in life. Oh my God! Karen wants me to to label them. Yeah, that's not the worst idea. All right. This whole thing has been traumatic. <laughs> you had fun. Admit it. I mean, this whole session started with you dumping over your entire art kit all over the floor. True. So we should have known that was how it was going to be. <clears throat> yeah. So what, let's put an actual year to each of this. So what year would you say this Joan Collins thing was? Like 85? Yeah. People are saying neons. I definitely think neons, but the 80s, I wore a lot of jewel tones. Like that teal and that purple were totally what I would have gone with. When I think of Joan Collins, and again, Joan is eight, an aspect of the 80s. It's not the whole 80s, but... Um, yeah, so this... I would say this... Uh, 
Did we not do the 70s? You didn't give, like, proper 70s reference. You know, you're right. <clears throat> I only had... People were looking forward to those bell bottoms. All right, let's not waste time with the lettering. Let's just do, let's just do that. Can we do go, that? Go into the 70s? Yeah, that's, it's more fun. So are you going to do, like, hippie, dippy, or are you going to go for disco? Good question. All right, so... Ah, Teresa wore a poodle skirt. It, she was born in the 49, so it was the style in the 50s, sweater top and poodle skirt. So it was not fake. All right, so she's wearing giant bell bottoms. What else should she wear? A leather vest with fringe. Oh, nice. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Like a, and like a lot of jewelry and maybe a headband, like a, you know, across the forehead headband. Like those fringy vests. It's, oh man, that's to me like that's the real seventies moment. What do you wear under the vest? Just like a white t-shirt, maybe? Uh, I mean, you know, you can really. I mean, a little turtleneck. You could really wear anything under the vest. <clears throat> Good lord, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you glad you went back in time? It's okay. Yeah, I got to think like Stevie Nicks, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, dear. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the show is not called Draw Well With Me. <laughs> I think it's sort of an interesting character. I have no idea what it is. I mean, but... it's just like a little mouse face. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like a human. It's like a, a a little like creature from Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah, but from the 70s. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, that made it even worse. Oh, well. That's the headband, right? That's, yeah, it will be when it dries. Good Lord. All right, so this is, what color would these pants be? Like, oh, like buff, like they're leather, buff. right? Like right. they're, yeah. like the Dickies pants that you have. They're like that buff. fawn color. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yellow, you could use like a yellow, I think. Oh, yeah, they could be corduroy. True. And then this vest would be kind of leathery. Yeah. Brown. Yeah, somebody said give her a tambourine. Love that. Oh, what about like love beats? A peace sign, right? Peace sign, yeah. What kind of shoes would you be wearing? Barefoot, I'm thinking. Right? Or sandals, right? Like little strappy sandals. She has huge feet. That was big in the 70s, having huge feet. <laughs> These aren't bird feet. These are like Sasquatch feet. <laughs> Duck feet. <laughs> All right. That'll have to do because I'm... You know what? I, at a glance, I would know that's the 70s. I'm saying... And, and you would know I that, that like was the you, 90s, right? For sure. For sure. And I would also know the same person drew both of those. They have a style. They have a style. There we go. 
digging it. Let me just quickly label these ones fast. So this first one we said was like 1921. <clears throat> this one was like 1933. Three. Three. This one was 1945. And this one was 1958. And this one was 1963, I think. 63. And she's 1968. 60. I'll make it nine just for the sake of having some distance. 72, 75, 95. I like how 1985 has like a standout script. True. Because in the 80s, you would be extra that way, right? That's what I care. <clears throat> oh, Suzanne Cologne went to fashion school. Suzanne, where the hell were you? Why weren't you giving throwing in some really useful information? She said, I feel like I just went to fashion school. <sighs> Can we comment on how the upside down drawings in the cavalcades really looked like Suzanne Cologne now that you see her little picture up there? She had the face. <laughs> Suzanne like, Cologne is usually upside down, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> There was one upside down of me and you. Did you see that in there? I saw that. I think that one was one of us was upside down, not the other, as I remember. But, I think yeah. there was a side by side. That's nice. Oh my god, that was exhausting. Yeah, but you did it. But I you did, did it. it. That's the important thing. It's not about. It was a century. <laughs> Pulled a century. Well, eighty years. God, I'm glad that fashion is over. Now everybody just wears Lululemon. Right? We're done. I mean, I think that's absolutely untrue. Quadrog um, says my 1920 looks like an 80-year-old woman, which you would be. So that's perfectly <laughs> appropriate. <laughs> you don't think the fashion... Fashion... I mean, I, I find thinking about fashion of the aughts, of the teens, of the 2020s... I mean, maybe it's because I'm an old man, but I'm just not as aware of it. Do you think, I mean, if you, when you think about the 20s, when you think about the 60s, the 50s? I think there's less trendiness now. Everybody just wears things that say sports teams' names on them. Sports ball. I guess tattoos. I mean, Jack, Danny's young son, uh, he sort of has this norm core look, right? Where you kind of. It's almost like grandpa style. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. The, Google it, but it's definitely what a thing. that's where I wore in the eighties. Norm that's core. <clears throat> Ethan says fashion isn't over. Ask your kids. Yeah, I might try to stay up with fashion, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> striped shirts for every decade. Yeah, I mean striped shirts are back, baby. All right. Well, I think that we've. I think we've exhausted this topic, and we've certainly so. exhausted me. <laughs> I look forward to uh, seeing what the hell you did with this. I mean, good luck. <laughs> no, but we want to. We do want to see what you did, right? Yeah. Don't we want to see it? Yeah. I think we do. Send it. Submit it. We want to see it, so please share it. Hashtag SBS Draw with me. Tag it on Instagram if you've never done this before. Please do so. We have some kind of a runway show to share with you next week. Uh, Danny's essays.com. I actually wrote a, I think it's a really nice essay that I just got ready to send out tomorrow. I always think they're good. Not everybody agrees with me, but JJ? Yeah, I think they're good. I always agree with you. That's your job. <laughs> uh, so, yes. And what else? Uh, I'll teach you to draw. I just pushed put up a new one on shading that might be helpful to you. And I also shared this drawing technique that I call outside in and inside out. I patented it, uh, I trademarked it, and I copyrighted it. So outside in, inside out, if you hear anybody else using it, you'll know where it came from. But I put up this video yesterday maybe, or the day before, in which I said, um, try it out. It's a fun technique. Try it out. What else? Um, we have a bunch of new things going on. 
We have a bunch of new things that we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over here. We have a bunch of new things going on that I made a live stream little video about yesterday. Have a look at it. I'd love to get your feedback on it. It's about new things that I'm thinking of making for you. And uh, just let me know what you think so that I can do the right thing. Because if I make a bunch of stuff that you don't like, it's a waste of both of our times. And if I make a bunch of stuff that you do like, that would be great. All right. Are you ready, JJ? Uh, yeah. Somebody was asking about the P.O. box, which I'm trying to find because it's not in the description. 